glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice in it. That no matter what has happened, no matter what chaos is happening in your life, no matter the storm that you are going through, God still loves you. So rejoice. Thank God for everything that is happening in your life. It may be painful to some, and to some it may be a good experience. Thank God for your life because there is a reason as to why you are still alive. You are still kept because God loves you. You are still listening to this message because God wants you to hear this message. You have not clicked on this message by mistake. It is not a coincidence. Nothing just happens like that. God put it that you should listen to this powerful word. Now the word that I have for you is you are the gift. Not a gift, but you are the gift. Brothers and sisters, a lot of people don't know it, that they are the gift. You are the gift to your family. You are the gift to your company. They hired you because of your skills. They hired you because of what you can bring to the company. Not knowing that you are the gift. Some of you, the moment you entered that location, prosperity began to happen. People began to uh, rise up from where they were. Things began to change. There is something that when you enter into a room, something that happens. There is something that happens. As a child of God, I'm talking to children of God. Because you are an ambassador of Christ Jesus. You are the salt and light of this world. Scripture says, a man's gift will make room for him. It will bring him before kings. Your gift will bring you before kings. Your gift will bring you before rulers. Your gift will bring you before men of honor. Because of your gift. A lot of people uh, have this concept of, of course, when I was growing up, we had this uh, aspect where we would receive Christmas gifts. Whether it is from a shoe, a toy, uh, whether it is from clothes, we are all waiting for the day of Christmas. And we would unwrap the gifts. To some, uh, on the outside, the box looked good. But the inside looked bad. It was a small gift. And to some, it looked like as though the box was bad, but in the inside, the gift was good. What am I trying to say? That to some of you on the outside, it looks like as though situations have hit you. It looks as though the situation is unpleasant. But in the inside of you, there is something that is pleasant. There is something that is of value that God has placed in you. That no wonder the enemy wants to take it away from you. He wants to rob it. He wants to steal it. That is the right way. Because the scripture says that the thief only comes to steal kill and destroy. He wants to steal what God has placed in the inside of you. Some of you don't know what you are capable of doing. You have not yet reached your full potential. You are not here on earth by mistake. No, 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 no. It is not a coincidence. It is not a mistake. God created you with a purpose. You have work to do. You are the gift to the world. So it is now time to do what God has called you to do. This is a word for somebody who's watching me right about now. That never look down on yourself. Even when people are looking down on you. Look up to Jesus. And when you look up to Jesus, God will lift you up. God will raise you up. Because he has placed something in you. You are the gift, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I've come to the end of this powerful word. Until next time, God bless you.